So Andrea, my name's David Williams. I'm a new director with NHFT and Angela Hillary's asked me to come and see you today. Oh. And it's about coming to see you. Right. And that's because you are one of the winners of one of our quality awards. <gasps> <laughs> so you've won this award today jointly with Sarah, who I think is away in New, New Zealand, Zealand at the yeah. moment. So I'm going to take you through why you've won this award. Oh. Okay, oh. well done. So you've won this award because you've created a resilience programme for wellbeing and you've set all those workshops up for all the young people and got that working through. Um, you did it because actually, as I understand things, rising referrals, people feeling as though they couldn't cope and we needed to put a prevention service in. I'm passionate about that. Well, I wanted to say it's really important. <laughs> I'm really, really pleased that actually we can invest something in prevention. So we've got probably 2,000 young people in schools being able to access it. Um, you've got it evaluated, we've seen the fact that something like 81% of um, children who've attended workshops have actually improved. Yes. That's a huge difference, that makes such, such a big difference. So I think you and Sarah have shown a real dedication to quality and to service improvement and getting better outcomes for children and young people. The training sessions you've done have gone to school nurses, staff nurses, support staff, healthy lifestyle advisors, nursery nurses and so on. Yes. It's made a really big difference. So we wanted to just to come out here just for a few moments today to say thank you very much. So what you've won is NHFT's Ambassador Award. And the Ambassador Award is for individuals or teams who show commitment, transparency, dedication to quality and care, and are all who champion for a better future. Ambassadors are innovators. They demonstrate creativity, flair, and ambition to help service change. And we want to say thank you very much. Wow. So, to, <laughs> so to say thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm oh, so pleased with you. you. Really, so really well much. done. That is just so, amazing because it's actually the whole project was such a privilege. Yeah. So um, I feel like I need to thank you for giving the space to actually follow a, a passion that both Sarah and I really felt and actually it was a real privilege to do that piece of work. So thank you That's so much. That's not a problem at all. So there's a letter from Angela, oh, a certificate, which sometimes in joint awards you have to share half each, but presumably you could just scan a photo to New Zealand. So, and you go. My name's Andrea Roberts. Um, and um, I'm just um, started here at Rectory Road um, and um, I'm a community um, staff nurse for the school nursing part of the 0 to 19 team. So my background is very much within school nursing, um, special school nursing particularly where I've been working for over, over 20 years and working with children with life limiting conditions. But my passion is for the emotional well-being of young people um, and I think um, we're very aware at the moment really of the mental health problems that many young people um, are actually facing and with that passion I kind of so I would I came into the team in, um, in to NHFT in um, January of this year having spent three years in Guernsey having had a bit of a midlife crisis and decided what do I do with my life and went off to my husband and I went off to Guernsey um, where I had a real privilege of working within the CAMS team um, and, um, and I came back in January and I worked on your bank and as a bank nurse, um, I was given the amazing opportunity, supported very much by Bernie here and Pippa Gilbert, who um, saw my passion and asked me to work to come up with a 40 minute um, presentation that we could present um, as a universal service to children and young people to help them with their managing their anxiety and emotions. Well, 40 minutes, that was never really going to work for me. Um, and I wrote a kind of business plan, which, in, which was actually four um, sessions of 40 minutes. I then had to kind of, Sarah and I together, we then had to sell it to our team leaders and 
what an amazing opportunity because they allowed us to do it. So we spent nine months. So it has been very much like a, um, a pregnancy, really, from conception to birth. <laughs> so we started in January, we completed in September, and we wrote um, four, four workshops. Um, which looked at emotions and, and how to manage those really difficult times. Um, and we've just come to an end of that. And um, Sarah and I spent September um, going out to the school nursing, the 0-19 teams, and selling what we've done really to them. And hopefully in um, the same passion that we feel uh, to give that to people. Because I do think that passion for um, these young people is really contagious. Um, and I wanted people to, um, to be infected by it. And so today is, has been overwhelming because to me it's been an absolute privilege to have the opportunity to be able to do this work because it's something that's in my heart and um, and it's so lovely then when um, when you're a that's able to come to fruition and so I am immensely grateful for the time that you've taken to come out to see me but I'm really really grateful for the support um, that has been given to me um, and to Sarah as well. I know that she would be so, we would be jumping up and down right now and dancing um, because we did a lot of dancing. Um, um, so for the teams who have been really supportive. So I'm overwhelmed and immensely grateful. So thank you very much.